All right, now let's um, head to the markets. We have uh, Will Ebong with the details. Uh, great to have you, Will. And um, yeah, I guess uh, congratulations in order for Zenith Bank with their new uh, group managing uh, director. director. Yeah. And I know social media is buzzing a lot yeah, right the now first, about the first the female. First female and um, how easy on the eyes she is. <laughs> I, yeah, that's, I, I could have ignored wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Everyone's I, been talking about that on social well, media Well, yeah, right she's, now. she's something, you know, to look at. And yeah. it's really to say that she's got the brains to march it right. because that's what's important, the leadership and how she, the direction she takes the bank to exactly. and the heights that the bank is going to, you know, you know reach yeah. based on our... Women you know, empowerment. Yeah, women empowerment. Right. <laughs> but we, let's just say empower, you know, the equities market right now, I hope it's doing really great. But we begin with major, major equities in Africa where sentiments were most positive at intraday. We see the NGX dipping for the correction still underway at that boss. 104,000 points still hanging on there. But you see South Africa in the green at intraday up 0.44%. And uh, elsewhere, let's look at Egypt's EGX 30 up at intraday, making a recovery from, you know, two negative sessions it, is, it has had this week, uh, up by 0.15%. And we see Kenya also closing Yesterday's session, that's Tuesday, in the green, back above 101 points. Now, let's check in on the NGX. Let's see what's driving sentiments there, what's driving this negative sentiment. And we're going to be talking to Mukta Mohamed, CEO, Finance with Mukta. Good afternoon, Mukta. It's good to have you on the program. Thank you, Will, for having me. Good afternoon. Yeah, Mukta, what's driving this negative sentiment? We're seeing stocks, you know, continue to, you know, investors are having a dampened mood right now. They're not giving us what we want. We want the green. So what's happening to the market? <laughs> I know it's expected, but yes, what's uh, driving stocks? What stocks are investors fading right now? Not especially, trading? especially China's television crew that love the bull. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the beer is, seems to be having it now. Mm -hmm. um, definitely uh, not, not really. Uh, we, we'll see some losses, uh, but I think... Um, and they could they could be recovering before the end of the day because um largely there are just small marginal losses in some um, other equity that are driving the market. But uh, the stock like MTN is still flat, uh, Gregu is still there flat. Um, what is really driving, I think, is F FCMB holding that is down by almost 3.8 percent. That is driving down the index. Um, um, GTCO is still flat at 50, 45, point, uh, 45 naira 85 cover. Um, Fidelity Bank is also on the upside. FCMB is also down. Um, um, the major um, one that was was done yesterday that really brought down the market a little um, was um, was um, the Transcorp Power. Um, it seems to be a gradual recovery. It's recovering about 10, 10 cover, but again. That is more comparable to what what he lost yesterday, and also um, other um, um, stocks are say trading flat. MTN is flat. Remember, it was one of those that dropped down the market, but it's flat today. There's so much. There's not so much activities on that space. But like I said, in the market, um, we still have an hour to the end of the market, and sometimes when sentiments are in between. Um, a lot of investors tend to wait till the last minute before making um, some of those purchases or going into some of those stocks. So these numbers can change any moment from now. But for now, I think this is where we are now. Okay. Well, speaking of transport, Transcorp, I'm just going to bounce off that. We, we did note that it made its first you know, drop, decline yesterday since it's listing on March the 4th. And that's 12, you know, sessions, trading sessions being on a roll. Uh, but yesterday it recorded 0.03% loss to close at 382. Now you said it's making a recovery back up there. Investors are taking advantage of that dip. But I just want to ask, uh, investors had enough of the high of Transcorp Power? Are they beginning to, you know, you know, the sentiments there beginning to go lower? Or are they just... Uh, it's just a normal thing for that stock price right now to, after having 12 fantastic run days of positive sessions, it has to go down, or this is the beginning of its roll down the, the NGX ladder. Well, uh, Will, um, we need to take it through from Girigou. And um, if you look at Girigou, then you look at Transcorp, you will see that um, what you're seeing there is not um, really anything surprising. Uh, we expected it to come like that down at a point. Is uh, the stock market is not a straight graph? Uh, it has to be there's the place for the ups and the down. And so the down is having it now. 
Um, again, also uh, what we've seen in the equity for a while, they've not been a um, reasonable supply in terms of um, volume. And we saw that for the first time, volume was made available and that stock came down yesterday. So um, I'm not too surprised about it. Remember that um, since that stock makes its exit from, from the Transcorp um, 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 holding itself, Transcorp holding has be, been going down from a high of about 19 Naira and trading of a low of 14 Naira. So that seems that the power company seems to be the one driving Transcorp. And so a lot of investors are beginning to look at opportunity to go in there. And when that volume was available yesterday, I think some investors were, were able to key into it. But again, um, you know, in the market, they say when two elephants fight, the grass suffer. Um, a lot of suffering this time in the in FCMB, FCMB, I mean, um, in, in First Bank holding, the holding company of First Bank. We are seeing that um, the elephants are fighting and the grass are the one uh, enjoying because mm -hmm. that stock has also moved to 14 naira. So some investors in that, that stock were the one trying to move out from there into some of these companies. And, and I think um, Transcorp, hold, Transcorp Power is part of the companies that some of these investors that were supposed to be the grass that should be suffering. And now when the two elephants are fighting, they are the ones um, um, enjoying capital appreciation. So we we'll definitely hope to see a more availability in terms of transco power for investors to possibly buy because, as you mentioned, it has been difficult to get investors have not been able to get the stock because of you know not the stock not being available in the market um, that has been driving that stock price high. But now that we have seen that first dip, we hope that now the stocks will be made available for investors to buy. But let's just zoom in on Zenith Bank now. It has appointed its first female GMD, that's Group Managing Director and CEO designate. That's Mrs. Adora Umeoji. Um, can you tell us, what are your feelings now? It seems that banks are looking at the women to take the leadership of the banking, of the financial sectors, institutions. Can you tell us about this? What are your feelings, your thoughts about it? And do you see uh, taking Zenith Bank to the Zenith? Well, Zenith Bank is already moving towards the Zenith, and she is also part of the management team that is moving Zenith Bank to the Zenith. You mustn't forget that she is the deputy managing director of Zenith Bank, so we, we, we should also have that in the back of our mind as we keep on saying that uh, she is um, moving um, Zenith Bank. And it's a good thing for the for the famous folks like you. I know you are excited. I saw her lad you was saying that um, the excitement is written all over your face, and I also could see it from here. Um, but what we need to, what we mustn't forget is that first, um, the, we've seen the women came in as um, chairmen of some of these banks. We had a point first, first bank, we had the Bukwa Wushika, um, also we had the, 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 the chairman of assets holding also a, 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 a female. And so, and um, what all this boss is about, maybe because it's Zenith is a tier one bank, we mustn't forget that the woman that is driving Fidelity Bank at the moment, also the, the group CEO of Fidelity Bank, is also a woman. And maybe excitement is in, in the air because we've seen how um, this woman have moved Fidelity Bank from a penny stock to, to one of those um, stocks that investors are looking at. made so much capital appreciation from a low of 4 Naira when she came into a high of about 10 Naira, 50 copper. So maybe that's what investors are excited about that. Uh, we are coming on that woman. Hopefully, it will be able to add the Midas touch to Zenith Bank to take it to the height that everybody thinks that Zenith should be. But I think it's congratulations to the women food. It, must, it, it came at no better time, especially after the celebration of the International Women Day. Congratulations, Will. <laughs> hopefully, we, the shareholders, will smile at the end of the day. But again, with our appointment, it doesn't seem that it's driving Zenith Bank. Zenith Bank is down by 10 cover today. So hopefully, before the close of market, something may, may positively happen. Of, of course, definitely. Investors are still digesting the news and definitely will probably see that uptake on Zenith Bank anytime soon, as, she, as soon as she takes reins as a GMD. Thank you so much, Mukta Mohamed, of CEO of Finance with Mukta, for joining us on Business Incorporated. Thank you for having me, Will, and have a pleasant day, laddie.